Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to build your Shinu Death Squad. Starting off with Booz and Bo. We already have a full guide out on her, but I'll quickly show my current build for you guys. For Sigils, we are running the new Feather Set and Acheron. This is our Warp Config, and we are on Blue Code. Feel free to check out our Buzenbo guide for more info on her specifically. For Sukuyomi, try to get her Synergy upgrade to level 2 if you are running the free-to-play Functor, and level 3 if you have her Signature Functor. For Sigils, Feather and Caledonian is going to be your best in slot if you are running the free-to-play Functor. You can change Feathers to Eternal Chariot if you have her Functor. Newer players only need to worry about getting two unfetters on her warps for slots three and four. Once you are ready to fully max her out, you can run this setup. For ether codes, three red if you are running the free to play functor, and three yellow if you have her signature. If you have her signature functor, be sure she's running Moon's Fury in her chips. Oh. Is there something you need me to do for you? Just like Suki, try and get Kuni's synergy upgrade to level two, or level 3 if you have her signature functor. For sigils, we want to run feathers and ambush. This may seem like an odd choice at first, but once we pair it with the chip, endless ninjutsu, you'll understand what the rock is cooking. Essentially, as long as her thunder damage is higher than her wind damage, she will only cast thunder abilities. And since feathers is giving us a pretty nice boost to our thunder damage, we essentially have a three-man lightning team. Just like with Tsuki, the most important thing to get when it comes to her warps are the two unfetters. Once you're ready to max her out, you can follow this setup. You guys will notice the sigils on my CN Tsuki and Kuni are different from the global version. That's because they were set up before feathers became available. Tsuki's I do want to change eventually, but I'm liking the setup I have on Kuni for now. The goal with it was trying to get almost a 100% uptime on their skill chain. Her personal damage is lower than my recommended set, but it's good enough for me. I think that pretty much cover everything. So, I'll leave you guys with the gameplay for my Hazard Zone Clear for this week. Enjoy. No mercy for anyone. My mind is crystal clear. Are you prepared for this? Slay them all! Roaring thunder! How you overestimate me. like we've got entertainment here. This is boring. Why don't you just come together? Time to huh? Now. Let's break the deadlock first. It's only temporary! So out of my way! <laughs> okay, I admit that was a good one. Let's keep going. <laughs> really do mean business. Time for me to get serious, too. Reverberating daylight dawns! I honestly thought you would dodge that.
I'll pave the way to my objective with these victories.